All right, here's a video on how to update the firmware and the program for a MicroLogix 850. You see I'm using the USB cable there. Connect the USB cable and right now, I had downloaded it and the machine is in run. See right there, it's in run. Uh, I went online and I downloaded the val uh, downloaded the program with values. Notice there, upload of logical values succeeded. You gotta see that or you're gonna lose all your data values. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reach under here and turn this into program mode. Let's see, it's in program. Program mode's there. So now what I'm gonna do is I have the program. I'm gonna disconnect. So I've disconnected from it. Then I'm gonna to go to device. I'm gonna to go to update firmware, upgrade or downgrade firmware. And it asks me what I wanna do, 22. I wanna update it. Now it's gonna go through this. Um, as far as uh, all the things that it takes to update it, you'll see it'll do um, like five transfers of there's three blocks yeah three block whatever and it's going to go four block uh, four or five block doing its update of the firmware this doesn't take too long i'm just going to stay online with it i'm going to do the whole thing in one video it's probably going to be kind of long but uh you'll see you'll see the whole process well, you don't lose any of the data values, don't lose any of your um, wrap patterns or anything. First one, I lost all the data values and it took a while to put them all in. Uh, last time I did it, this worked beautifully. So uh, it takes a little while for it to finish, I've noticed. So everything still pulling for a power up just let it do its thing there it's doing something okay it says it's done done update succeeded right there so now what i do is i'm going to cancel that because i don't want to update again now that's updated now i want to view the controller organizer this is my current program what I need to do is right click here and I need to change the controller there and then notice they don't match. This is a QWB, this is an AWB. So we gotta change that to QWB, project 22. See, there's your version 22 right there. Hit okay. Now what we've done is we changed the project to a version 22. The only thing left to do Let's go to device, download. Building it. We select our device. Need to go one, either one of these. And it should find one of them. There it is. Hit OK. And it should download after it does the build. Definitely do download with project values. Now it's gonna go through and download. That's pretty much the whole process. I'm gonna let it boot up and uh, go from there as far as checking this out. Uh, making sure that everything's running. Download succeeded, connected. We're in program mode still. I'm gonna take it back to run underneath here. You really can't see it. Now I'm in run. Now we could go out here. You do have to click through all these okays. It's kind of hard to see it, but they click okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see what we have as far as our pattern list. This last one didn't have the names of it either, but we're gonna go into Wolf Tech uh, pre-stretch settings. 
user four. Four, two, three, two. Enter. Yes, all the values are still there. Sweet. So we can go in the edit wrap pattern. We could change all these patterns, but I know that's the one that's no no top wrap, so we don't have to go through all those. That's it. It's good to go.